In this video, how to enable or disable Secure Boot on Acer laptops. First, in Windows, type MS Info 32 in Windows Search to open the System Information app. As you can see, this is an Acer laptop, and Secure Boot is currently disabled. In the first case, if your BIOS mode is UEFI, you can continue with the next steps. If your mode is legacy, the process is a bit different, and I will show you that later in this video. Now, if your boot mode is UEFI, let's restart the computer. Press the F2 key repeatedly to enter the BIOS setup. In the BIOS setup, use the arrow keys to go to the boot menu. You will see that the boot mode is UEFI and secure boot is disabled. However, the secure boot option is grayed out and cannot be changed. To make it changeable, let's go to the security menu. Now, you need to set a supervisor password. Type a BIOS password as you prefer and press enter. As you can see, once the password is configured, the option to change secure boot is now available. You can now enable it as usual. Next, go back to the security menu and clear the supervisor password you created earlier. This step will prevent the system from asking for a password every time you access the BIOS setup. Enter the current BIOS password and leave the new password blank to clear the supervisor password. Finally, press F10 to save the changes and restart your computer. Open the System Information app again to verify that Secure Boot is now enabled. In some cases, you might see that the BIOS mode is legacy. This means your computer was installed using an MBR partition style. Before enabling Secure Boot, you need to convert Windows from Legacy to UEFI. Right-click on the Windows Start icon and open PowerShell as Administrator. Run the command Get Disk to display all disks connected to the computer. You will see that all disks use MBR. We need to convert them to GPT to work with UEFI boot mode. Windows includes a built-in tool to do this safely without losing any data or reinstalling. First. Run the command to check if your system can convert from MBR to GPT. If there are no errors, you can continue to the next step. Change the validate switch to convert to perform the conversion. It might take a few minutes, so please wait. As you can see, Windows has been converted successfully and the system disk is now GPT. Now, restart the computer and enter the BIOS again. You can see that the BIOS mode is currently set to CSM Legacy mode. We need to change it to UEFI to enable UEFI boot mode. After that, you can enable secure boot just like in the first case. Set a supervisor password. Enable secure boot. and clear the supervisor password. Then save the changes and restart your computer. As you can see, Secure Boot is now enabled and the boot mode has been changed to UEFI. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next videos.